Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ryan and today finally I am going to start using jojoba oil. I mean I already started because I already took a shower and finished my skincare routine and turned on this camera. So if my messy hair is bothering you guys watching this video then I hope you guys excuse my hair please because I wanted this review to be so realistic and that is why I didn't even clean up my hair. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how jojoba oil effect on my skin by using jojoba oil every day for a week so if you are interested in skincare then you might already know that there are diverse kind of oils that you can use for your skincare and i chose this jojoba oil because i wanted to make my skin less oily and less dehydrated i know a lot of people use jojoba oil to get rid of their white heads and blackheads and since blackheads are my biggest skincare problem of course if i can get rid of the blackheads and white heads by using this jojoba oil then it be perfect but to be honest they had been on my t-zone and nose so i kind of don't care them that much and for now i just want to make my skin less oily and less dehydrated when i did research on jojoba oil i realized that the molecular structure of jojoba oil is so similar with natural sebum that humans are making so if i apply this jojoba oil on my skin then my skin will be tricked into not overly producing sebum because my skin would be already feeling that there are enough amount of sebum on my skin so basically what i expect for this jojoba oil is to make my skin healthy like before this winter and i chose this jojoba oil from aromatica because when i was doing a research on jojoba oil i realized that a good jojoba oil is supposed to be 100 percent jojoba oil organic and cold pressed and it shouldn't be too purified and this jojoba oil from aromatica 100 percent satisfies that conditions so yeah that's why i bought this jojoba oil from aromatica then let me show you guys my skin condition right now if you are looking at the screen right now then you might be able to see that my skin is not that dirty to be honest i'm not gonna lie i'm not like being arrogant or like self-obsessed but to be honest my skin became so sensitive recently i mean my skin has been sensitive but before my skin became like this sensitive even though i popped those pimples on my skin they didn't become infections but now if i just touch them they became so red and super like infected you guys might be able to see that i have some red spots on here and here i just touched them and they became this red and became kind of bumpy and the camera i am using now is not that good so you guys might not be able to see how bad the pimple here is but it's so red and it's kind of it kind of hurts and before my skin became this sensitive this kind of things like didn't happen this frequently but some of you guys might be thinking like okay but you have breakouts only here here and here and they are super small but to be honest there are a lot of kind of like hard things under my skin you know like sometimes if you feel like you got pimples on your skin so if you look at the mirror then you cannot see there's something on your skin but later when you touch those suspicious spots then they're like small but hard things under skin and i want to call it like a pre-inflammation because i believe that they can be always turning into acne and when i did research on hova oil i found out that they are anti-inflammatory and anti-fungal and also they are not gonna clog pores so that's why i thought that hova oil is what my skin need right now to control sebum and make my skin less dehydrated and also to control this um easily breaking out skin so in this video i'm going to focus on talking about how good it is to control sebum on my skin and how helpful it is for my acne so today i tried hova oil first time and my first impression is it's absorbed into skin faster than i expected it doesn't make my skin sticky which is kind of surprising because i expected that this is going to be a little bit sticky since this is oil and at at least this hova oil from aromatica doesn't smell which is great because i don't like to put on a skincare product that smells but i kind of have a stuffy nose now so it can be inaccurate anyways for now i don't feel dehydrated <laughs> so this was my second time using hova oil and today morning i found out that my skin looks so clean my skin didn't feel tight or dehydrated so until now i feel like this is gonna work well for my skin 
and I realized that yesterday I didn't tell you guys which skincare products that I'm gonna use with jojoba oil at night time so let me tell you guys right now also I am not gonna use this jojoba oil in morning because I like to have a solid skincare routine and basically I am still trying out jojoba oil so I am not sure whether I'm going to incorporate jojoba oil in my morning skincare routine or not of course next week if I can see an effect and if it doesn't irritate my skin then I'll consider about incorporating jojoba oil into my morning skincare routine but for now i'm not gonna use jojoba oil at morning so in daytime i apply a chemical sunscreen so i cleanse my skin with sunjung foam cleanser and then i hydrate my skin with this toner and i layer this toner on my skin three times and i follow with a serum or ampoule so yesterday i tried this cosrx triple hyaluronic moisture ampoule and today i tried this clear vitamin drop to be honest, I was a little suspicious about using jojoba oil and vitamin C skincare products together because when I did research on jojoba oil, I couldn't find that many researches about whether I can use vitamin C with jojoba oil. So yeah, I'm just doing experiment and I'm going to use this vitamin drop every other day. I mean alternately with this triple ampoule. After applying serum or ampoule on my skin, I follow up with jojoba oil and then I finish my skincare routine with this Roundlet Birch Juice Moisturizing Cream. And I chose to try out this vitamin C serum with jojoba oil because when I was researching those oils, I found out that if you use rosehip oil, then that can also brighten up your skin tone, but jojoba oil doesn't have that kind of effect. So I thought some of you guys might be wondering whether you can use vitamin C with jojoba oil. So I'm just doing the experiment. I will tell you guys how it will be next week. I'm really satisfied my skin right now. Oh, yeah, there must be something on my eyes, right? I really just woke up. I literally just woke up. So this was my third time using jojoba oil at night time. Yesterday and day before yesterday, I forgot to tell you guys how I am using jojoba oil on my face. So I put five drops of jojoba oil on my hand and rub my hands, put jojoba oil on my skin with my hands. Some of you guys might be thinking like, but your hands are not clean. I'm putting on jojoba oil on my skin in indirect way because I wanted to apply jojoba oil as even as I can. So that's why I apply jojoba oil on my skin by like massaging my skin with my hand but if you don't want to use jojoba oil that way then i guess you can just put eight drop of jojoba oil on each cheek and apply as gentle as you can and as even as you can three four Five drops. So last night the experiment was officially done. So I guess it's time to tell you guys how it affected my skin. First of all, what I expected for jojoba oil was make my skin less oily and less dehydrated and they were like half right and half wrong. I guess I expected like too dramatical effect I think. After like super hours applying jojoba oil on my skin at nighttime skincare routine, my skin feels a little bit tight so I need to apply this oil mist on my skin. But still jojoba oil was pretty impressive because usually at my nighttime skincare team, seeing salt is so dry right now, I used to apply aloe vera gel and sleeping masks on my skin. But as you guys know, during the experiments, I applied only toner, serum, oil, and moisturizer. So I don't know. Later, if I apply jojoba oil on my skin like so consistently and my skin becomes more healthy, then I might be able to like sufficiently hydrate my skin by just by that skincare team. My soul is so dry right now and I stopped applying the skincare products that I've been putting on my skin so considering that kind of stops I guess jojoba oil is so good to hydrate my skin a good thing of applying jojoba oil is it hydrates my skin and also it didn't make my skin that oily it is like a subtle difference that only I can notice but it really made my skin less oily and every time I woke up and ran into my family they always said that what on earth did you apply on your skin your skin looks so good and healthy <laughs> apparently jojoba oil 
make my skin a little healthier than before and most importantly it didn't bring me out while i was using hova oil none of like bad stops up your my skin like acne or like breakout pimples like anything i tried vitamin c serum with hova oil and that didn't irritate my skin so if you wanna try both products together then i guess you can try that out so this is my skin condition right now so I used to have a lot of breakouts at these spots next to my eyes. None of pimples or acne appear on these next to eye spots. To sum up, it really worked for my skin. It made my skin less dehydrated, less oily, and also it didn't bring me out and didn't clog pores, obviously. I think I'm going to keep applying Hova oil on my skin, and I highly recommend you try it out if you have oily, dehydrated type skin. They are not going to clog your pores, so just try it out. So today's video is done here. Now I'm going to have to finish my morning skincare routine. My skin is getting dried. I hope this video helped you make a decision whether you're going to apply hoba oil on your skin or not but the point is just try that out don't forget to give me thumbs up and click subscribe button and annyeong